There we go. Let me go ahead here. Give me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello. I have not fixed the camera quite yet. Give me just a moment, guys. I will be fixing the camera here in a sec once I get that all set. Go ahead and let me look for this. I'll welcome in Izzy. Hold up, I'm double checking something. I apologize. Bear with me. There we go. That should be fine, I believe. There we go. Let me go ahead and do this. Mm. Ooh, well. Give me one sec. I'm trying to figure something out. I apologize. There we go. Okay, cool. I think I figured that out. What I wanted to do. Let me go ahead and pull up the chat so I can actually fucking see what you guys are saying. What the hell is the chat already pulled out? Oh, it is! Nice! The sounds don't work. They literally just worked. Oh! You can't hear them at the moment. You're fine, you can hear them now. I had the music muted for a second, so you, uh... Would be able to, uh, hear some other stuff. But here, if you want me to play the sound bites for you real quick, I do not mind. Here, give me one second, I'll play both sound bites for you. He's pulling his cock out! See? They are playing just fine. But, there's that. So I believe that should be good. Is this not. Did it freeze up? Hold up, give me a second. Not doing it properly? Yeah, I think so. Cool. So there's that. Now let me fix the camera. You guys can see me. You're like at boob height, and I need you to... There we go. I think... You know what? That actually might be perfect. This might be perfect. I can zoom in or whatever from there, but that's... I'll be good. Okay. Well, here, let me actually get you up to high height so we can... I know you're looking... You got a tall edgy gamer today. You guys are standing at a good four foot... A four foot tall, and I'm looking down from a towering five foot seven. I know, I know. Um, here, let me go ahead and pull that up. But yes, welcome! So, what we were cooking today is uh, I have nothing set up for it yet. Uh, I was a bit busy trying to get ready. I had to shave both my arms. Um, then, you know, to, if I'm gonna wear garter belts and thigh high socks, I'm gonna shave my legs are gonna be shaved, and then I'm not gonna wear red lip gloss without shaving my face. So, you know. We shaved all that. So I look good. I look good. And I had to redo my hair, but since I washed my hair recently, it's kind of hair metal hair. Just bear with me. I'm trying. But we'll see. So. But from here, yes, I am wearing the whole outfit. Again, as always. It's a little different. I got some netting on this time. I've got the little piece. And uh, my rings, as always. A little spiked bracelet. We got a nice little choker as a bracelet here. And my sleeve here. So I look a little pretty. It is still the same socks, though. So... And, uh, yes, I'm sorry you can't see the garter belts, but that sucks. They're awkward to wear anyways. Um, I look fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get started. What we are cooking today. Let me move this mirror out the way. And we are going to be cooking Hamburger Helper, because my dumbass... First, I gotta remember how to cook it, but that's besides the point. That's besides the point. I've cooked it plenty of times, so not remembering how to cook it is kind of not even really a problem. But anyways, um, yeah, we're cooking Hamburger Helper today. Let me make sure that I don't already have a box of it open. Um, now, I know some of you may be disappointed because you were expecting high-end cuisine, but if you don't call Hamburger Helper high-end cuisine, you're just not living the good life, okay? Right, I'll say it has instructions, so we, sh we should be fine. We should be fine. I think so. I think so. Um... I am chewing gum to kind of calm my nerves a little bit. I get a little worried whenever I'm doing this. But I believe 
the pan I use for it, as I actually do this in a really weird way, like a really weird way, um, so it might be harder to see than it normally is. Actually, no, let me see. Let me see. I might have some. I might have a thing where I can do this where you can see it. Give me just a moment. I think I have something where I could do this. Do I have a lid that's big enough for it? Uh, no, I don't think I do. <laughs> Ignore all the sounds. The sounds are fine, I promise. So, sadly, this might be really difficult, because I don't know really how I'm going to put this in a way where you can see it. But, uh, yes. Um, we'll see. This one's going to be a lot more difficult, because I can't just show you from a distance like I could with the uh, spaghetti. So, with this, um, we're actually going to cook it all in this. Normally, you do it in a pan, but I don't have any top to work for a pan. Oh, no, you're, you're good, Edgeblade. I, I, uh, I saw the comment. I just didn't read it out loud. I apologize. Um, I'll probably check that out after this stream. I don't want to interrupt this stream too much just because this one is kind of a little awkward to do. And plus, if I don't pay too much attention, I'll light my house on fire. And that's always fun. Um, so, what I start with um, for Hamburger Helper... Let me see here, because it has been a minute. I sincerely apologize. I'm completely not prepared. Okay, so yeah. The way I make Hamburger Helper, I won't lie, little messy... Um, I'm gonna try to do a camera angle where you can actually see what's in here to see what I'm doing and not just look at me But uh, we'll see but Yeah, this I'm gonna put this one on the big burner over here on the right side. Um, now we do have our Big ass uh, air fryer in the way. So I'm gonna move that bitch over here There we go, and I might actually move the camera up here so you guys can actually see into that. So here, let me see Ooh, that might be better. That might be perfect. There we go. So you can kind of see what I'm doing, but not like so, like that much. Now, uh, you can kind of still see me. Hi. <laughs> um, so, you're sitting on top of my standing mirror. So, what I'm going to start with... Um, I believe I have to brown the meat first, which is, uh, that's fair. Yeah, that's, I, I do believe I need to do that. So, good, th uh, good thing as usual, since we are going to be cooking hamburger, uh, hamburger helper. Um, it is just normal hamburger helper. I mean, I know this is double cheeseburger macaroni. That's just because I love how hamburger tastes. So, we should be good. Um, and then, uh, for the sake of ease of cooking, and also because, as we know, Edgy Gamer does not really like to eat a lot of fatty food, um, the hamburger meat we will be using is going to be a uh, really lean ground beef. It is a approximately 93% lean, 7% fat. Nothing too fancy, just normal hamburger meat. We're going to use a pound. Um, and the reason I use such lean meat is, uh, A, it keeps the, like, you know, the gross... You know, whenever you eat really fatty food, you kind of burp a little bit. It kind of keeps that from happening. And uh, then, also with it being so lean, I rarely have to uh, drain out any grease because there's just not enough grease for me to drain it out basically, and so it works out pretty well. Though, I will say, I pre-washed my hands, uh, so, you know, normally you'd wash your hands before you want to handle any of this. Um, and I know I did just do something a lot of people wouldn't do, but I also wash my nails very detailed-wise, so if some of you are grossed out by me peeling it open, my fingernail did not go into the meat, it's going onto the plastic, okay? Don't worry, don't freak out, don't freak out, like, oh my god, I'd never eat this man's food. I do not sit here and dig into the hamburger meat with my nails. I simply peel the plastic off with my nails because I'm used to having, as you can tell, some uh, talons. Here, I'm going to do this real quick. Come on, motherfucker. There we go. I'm going to put this over here on the side. Now, since it's, like I said, I don't have to worry about draining or nothing, I'm just, and it's also thawed out, so I usually, either if it's frozen, I leave it out for a day, or not out for a day, but in the fridge for a day and let it dethaw. Um, or I buy it freshly that night to make it really easy. Now, um, I like to get two seasonings, kind of the similar seasonings I do for, uh, spaghetti. I get the, it's the same thing I usually put on all my hamburger meat. I do the seasoning salt and the garlic salt because that shit's fire. All right. And let me catch up with chat as we're going. Also, uh, I know it's already sitting in here. It's going to be a slow cook today. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to five. I don't know how well you can see that. Here, let's see. Maybe you can see it a little bit better if I uh, activate the camera settings. Give me one second. I'm here on Lake Show Chat. Uh, get Cameraman Dylan. Dylan's not even home right now. What's the music you have in the background? How many people do you think will join thinking you're a woman? Probably a couple. Scared a friend of mine by showing him sweet uh, transvestite. I don't even know what that is. Welcome in, Kit Kat. Welcome in. 
Um, and I, uh, yeah, Dylan is not here right now. Um, I was gonna say, I don't know if you can, yeah, there you go. So you can see that I kind of have the burner for the top right on, uh, five. Um, I'll probably turn it up to 5.5 or, yeah, about 5.5. And then I like to, uh, before I season it, I like to take, nope, not that. One of the, nope, not one of those. We're getting there. Nope, not one of those. There we go. One of these. A little wooden spoon, you know. A good whacking tool. One of my favorite cooking tools. Use this shit, like, all the time. Um, also, welcome in Kit Kat. Welcome in. But yeah, the music is uh, Zelda music. I turn it really, really quiet, so uh, I won't get copyrighted. But I also don't really have music I can play. So, But thankfully, um, since it's just the background music, you can't really, uh, you know hear it much so hopefully Nintendo is not too angry about it and I like to keep it like I said really quiet because I don't want to get copyrighted and um, what game is it from again it is from uh, the Legend of Zelda it is a mixture of pretty much every Zelda so what you've heard is I believe recently has been Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess Zelda music but I take this and I basically break up the meat in here like so I'll probably be picking stuff up so I can show you guys since it is kind of like a pot not a pan um, and the, like I said, the reason I'm using this is because I do not have a pan or skillet or anything to where I can actually put a top on it. So here we are, kind of using a little bit, not really a pot, but I can't remember exactly what kitchen utensil you'd call this. But yeah, we break it up good, and I'm going to continue doing exactly what you're seeing here. Just, you know, breaking it apart. Making hamburger chunks rather than just, you know, hamburger meatballs. And once I get it all broken up... Oh, no. There we go. I go ahead and put this over here. And mind you, I didn't wash my hands after dealing with the hamburger meat because I didn't touch the hamburger meat, so I should be fine. Um, I'm going to take the seasoning salt, and I do a good, reasonable sprinkle. And the reason I don't mind doing such a reasonable sprinkle all the way across it, as you can see, is because, since it's going to be mixing with so much cheese and everything, um, there's gonna be so many ingredients. I want to still be able to taste it. Now, as you can see, I'm pretty generous with the amount on there. All those orange parts are the seasoning, so pretty good amount. I don't dump the whole thing in there or nothing, but I do put a good amount. And the same thing with these uh, garlic salt. Very generous, very generous. I want to be able to taste that. I don't want to. I don't want to just have you know anything bland. We like our food to taste good in this house, after all. After we spend so much time cooking it. Um, and like I said, it's not going to be overly strong or nothing since we are cooking Hamburger Helper. Um, God, that seasoning smells good. You guys have no idea. I might actually eat some after this. But yeah, so as you can see, there's a good amount of both uh, seasonings in there. The garlic salt being the uh, white and the uh, seasoning salt being the kind of orange. Um, and so, at, and now that I did that with these, we're going to put them up. But I'll just put them out the way for now. Um, then we're going to go ahead and... We're gonna look. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull one thing of each out of here. We're gonna pull the noodles out, and then we're gonna pull the cheese powder out. Now, um, then for that, we're also gonna need to get our little cups out. We're gonna have to get the one third and the one cup, like measuring cups out. And I believe which one is this? This is the one third cup. I know it's hard to read, but it is there. Um, yep, we got our one third cup. We're gonna get that there for the water. And that's Zelda Twilight Princess music for anyone who's curious of what just turned on. It's also louder than I thought it would be, but that's fine. Maybe I'll just uh, have to talk over it a little bit. I'm talking at a good, uh, decent amount so you can actually fucking uh, hear it. Oh, that's why I didn't recognize it. It's a, it is a mix. Rocky Horror is a great movie. Um, I had a joke about Edgy uh, pulling a sweet transvestite on us. Nothing wrong with the lifestyle, and I only uh, say it in jest. Oh, of course. I'll eat supper with mom, so I'll come back later. Have a good time. No problem, Edgeblade. Here, let me actually get in shot. You have a wonderful night, my man. And don't worry, I've actually seen a little bit of uh, the uh, Rocky Horror Transvestite thing. Sadly, I didn't see the whole thing, though, because I was terrified. I was actually in a big audience. And so when I was in the big audience watching it, I was horrified. But, uh, it was stressing my anxiety because it was just too many people. And I had a really shitty ex-girlfriend at the time back in uh, 2019, so it really didn't boil over too long. But, uh, yeah. So... But yeah, I, the, from the little bit that I saw, I thought it was pretty cool. I'll have to actually see the whole thing at some point again. Um, yeah, we go ahead and get this out. I'll try to keep this where you can see it in the shot. Get these all to the so Well, now I have to wash my hands. Just grab the fucking hamburger meat tray. Great, well, give me a second. <laughs> give me a second. At least a good rinse off at the bare minimum. But thankfully, I didn't get any under my nails. Always just on my fingertips. Okay, um... 
So, it's actually starting to cook up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and take my wooden spoon. Once again, stir it around. We don't want it, you know, burning or nothing. It is getting a little smoky, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on high. And we're going to move this shit around. It is starting to brown a little bit, and the main thing we're focused on is browning all of it. That is the number one thing we are concerned about. And then after we get done browning it, we're going to head on to the uh, next steps. And we're browning it the same way that I did with the spaghetti. We're mostly just moving it around. Um, which continues to break it up a little bit, making it really good for the uh, hamburger helper that we are trying to uh, to make. And um, then, well, I can go ahead and move this out the way because we don't really need that. Um, put that on top of the toaster, <laughs> honestly. Um, then from there, what was the next thing I was getting? Oh, yeah, the other cup. So I'm going to go in my little drawer here. We're going to find the one cup. I believe it is this gigantic one that looks very poorly made which is okay. We don't need it to be made well. We just need it to work. <laughs> so we go ahead. I know this one you can't see, but that's supposed to say one cup. So we got one cup. Um, but yeah, we don't want to put any water or anything in there until we get done browning it. So we're going to go ahead and continue to keep browning it to make sure it's all prepared for uh, all the other ingredients we're going to put in here. And I'll probably show you the process of me putting the ingredients in here because it is rather... Uh, aggressive. <laughs> it's just literally dumping. It's kind of just, you know, a messy process, which is okay. Hamburger Helper isn't really the most clean looking food. It's very messy. It's not the most physically appealing, but it is very delicious. And the smell itself is usually very capable of uh, winning anybody over from what I've seen. Because usually when you cook it, it smells so damn good. Like even right now with the way I cook the hamburger meat and the seasoning I use, it is very, very delicious. It's got a very strong, uh, you know, like I said, the, uh, the garlic salt. You can smell the garlic, which is delicious. And that smell of uh, some nice, you know, hamburger meat getting cooked smells fantastic. I apologize to you vegans, but you are missing out. Missing out. That there for a second. I'm um, going to catch up with chat while it's kind of burnt. You know, uh, heating up a little bit. Also, I'm going to be AFK for a bit. About to eat some sliders. That's perfectly fine, Kit Kat. Enjoy the sliders. You look great and so is the food. I wish I had a sense of smell. Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> nice. Well, I will say, yeah, the sense of smell does make certain things, uh... Uh, give me one... second. Uh, here, give me one moment, I apologize, chat, something very important popped up. Uh, somebody very important asked me a very important question, give me one moment. Okay, um... Just a little bit longer. I'm so sorry. I'm, someone very important is asking something very important of me. But while I am here, I am actually kind of curious because uh, I'm sitting here. I have this Zelda music. It's a little loud. I did not want it to be this loud. So let me actually fix that real quick. I'm sure it's very serenading, but uh, I'm not trying to get copyrighted. So 
I think this song right here just happens to be louder than the others. Actually, that's fine. We can just uh, jump back a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's actually Zora's Domain. Nice. Fuck yeah. I actually really enjoy Zora's uh, Domain inside of Zelda. Really, really good music. Zelda's always really had good music, though. It really doesn't matter what Zelda game you're playing. They are always fantastic. There we go. Cool. So, back to this. Back to this. It is actually looking very brown now. Thankfully not burnt at all. So mind you, if you ever do get a distraction like that in the kitchen, at least make sure you are within distance of the food that is being cooked. You never want to leave food unattended. Um, I know it may have looked like I was far away, but I was simply like a couple feet from the, uh, the burner. So I can uh, not only hear the food cooking, but also uh, see it. Um... But with me taking that short moment to uh, communicate with the thing that I, uh, with the person I needed to for a moment, I can uh, show you guys. It's actually, for the most part, pretty uh, pretty browned up. If you look here, most of it's pretty good. We got a few red spots in here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and kind of let that cook up a little bit. Um, probably turn up the heat just a little. Ooh, careful. Whenever you have a little, uh, and when you have draping stuff on your sleeves like this, never. You usually don't want to wear something like this around the uh, the kitchen because it's a little dangerous. So. Thankfully, though, I can do this pretty well one-handed, so it's not really that important. Um, it's not that integral to what's going on right now. And like I said, there is a tiny, tiny amount of grease at the bottom. Um, it's going to be a little bit more visible since we're doing it in this pot rather than like an actual pan. But it is so negligible that, like I said, it really doesn't matter. And with it being such lean meat, if anything, it literally just adds flavor. So what we're going to do is actually now that it is pretty browned, um, and thankfully with hamburger meat, if it's not all entirely browned, you won't catch anything. It's not like chicken or uh, pork where it can be a little more dangerous. Uh, beef is actually pretty pretty good. Um, it's just like when you have steaks. You know, you can have a rare steak, medium rare steak, uh, well done steak. You can you can have hamburg uh, hamburger meat in, you know, multiple ways. Usually you don't want to eat it raw, but, you know, cooking it, if you cooked it to a degree, it's usually pretty good to eat. Because um, I've cooked burgers that aren't, you know, meat, uh, that aren't well done. They're kind of like medium or so they have that little bit of pink in there which is fine because sometimes i like my burgers like that it really just depends on how i feel that day so with that um i do believe we should turn it down or do we leave it that high i think we have to get the boil actually uh yeah so we're gonna get in uh we're gonna go ahead and start adding the uh ingredients and now the thing about hamburger helper is you really don't have to be a certain way with the ingredients you can actually just kind of fucking go right on in so i usually like to start with the noodles and literally just pour them bitches in like, I don't even care if it's a pile in the middle. Just pour them in. You know, make a little mound of them. Get them all nice and ready to be eaten, you know? And they're all nice and dry. They sound like little tokens. Then I'm going to go ahead and I like to pour in the cheese as well next. And that's probably why my like, noodles occasionally look orange. Just because I dump the cheese directly on it. But thankfully, since it is the fake cheese, it's very easy to handle. It's basically just a powder. Now, normally you can just rip this open. But if you're worried about not being able to rip it open, you can easily use a kitchen knife. Or if you're really, you know, that incapable, you can use scissors. Um, and same thing, don't be modest, just, you know, dump that bitch in there. The thing about this is we're going to be breaking it up as we cook it, so you don't need to spread it around like seasoning. You can just dump that shit in there. So, putting this over here with the rest of the trash, and then we're going to go ahead and get some water. We're going to start with the water because we want to be able to use the cups in to, for the water and then the milk. We don't want to get the milk in the water, but if the water's with the milk, it's okay. So, we're going to go ahead and take our... First, we're going to go ahead and get the third, because it starts with one, one cup and one third cup. So, it says hot water, so I usually just kind of get whatever water I can, to be honest with you. Because we're dumping it directly onto the food, so it is fine. Um, if you do not have a steady enough hand to carry it from the sink over, you can easily take it, from the, uh, take it off the stove over to the sink and do it that way. And some people like to do it purified water, so that's also fine. If you uh, do not want to use your sink water, because your sink water is really bad, that shouldn't really mess with it much. I'm sure you guys don't really need that detailed instructions for cooking hamburger helper. I'm sure you guys are pretty decently capable. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get the whole milk out. Um, I like to use whole milk. I really don't know what kind of milk you guys like to use, but that's uh, totally me. I'm, um, you know, 
I could probably use the calories, and I've always drank whole milk, so I personally always pour the right hand into the left hand. Um, I am right hand dominant, also I like to do it over the food as well. It's kind of a nice thing to make sure that it's not spilling all over the place. But yeah, so that's the one cup, and that is the second. Yeah, I'm probably dead ass eating some of this after the stream, I won't lie, this shit smells way too good. I had a sub sandwich earlier today and I'm not that hungry, so I won't get a big plate, but I'm certainly getting a plate, this shit smells good. Alright, so with that, um, as I'm about to show you, it is quite literally a big, mushy mess, so if you look in there, it is literally all liquids, you don't have to worry about, you know, like I said, you don't have to worry about actually, uh, per se, how much it like stacks up like that. So we literally, now what you want to do is make sure you get the bottom, because we're cooking it, right? And make sure the noodles and the hamburger meat are not just sitting on the bottom. Now normally you do this in a pan, and it's a lot easier to mix around, and it's a lot less likely for stuff to stick, but you want to make sure you go all the way around the pot, make sure no noodles are just sizzling at the bottom. And the thing about this is as you're spinning it around, it's breaking up the cheese, it's mixing the milk in with the water, it's putting the cheese over the hamburger meat and the noodles, and make sure you know get all the cheese off the side here. And you're gonna kinda do this kind of consistently, you don't have to super consistently, but the main thing we're trying to do right now is we're trying to get this to a boil. We want all this milk, cheese, water, hamburger, noodles, we want it all to start bubbling. And I'll, pr I'll probably show you guys an example of it actually bubbling when it does get there, because right now, here I'll show you, it is actually really uh, settled. It's not really doing anything. It's all just kind of like a big yellowy liquid. Let me catch my chat for a second. Um, throw one of your streams on in the background. So it always has amazing ass music. Edgy, don't lie. You were in the next room. I usually only eat chicken. How long will the celebration last? Not gonna lie, it looks good so far. I'll open it with a fucking power saw. Hey, I'm in. Hey, and if that's the, you need the safe, the kitchen safe power saw. Then fuck yeah. Okay, give me one second. But here, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like right now, and then I'll show you afterwards. So if you look, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you can. Here, let me zoom in real quick. There you go. See how it's really calm? It's just kind of chilling there. That's how you know it's not boiling yet. Which I'm sure you guys have boiled water before, so it's, uh... You know, I'm sure you guys are well aware. Um, here, give me one second. Now, thankfully with hamburger meat, with uh, hamburger helper, you don't have to sit right next to it the entire time. It is pretty consistent. The number one thing during this part of the process is you want to make sure the noodles don't stick to the bottom. Because since it's not really boiling yet and the water's not moving, the noodles are kind of sitting stagnant as well. And that makes it to where while the uh, food is heating up, the noodles can basically get burnt and stuck to the bottom. And you do not want that. That's the biggest thing. So ham so with spaghetti, you don't really have to worry about stuff sticking to the pan too much because it's mostly just the hamburger meat. But this, since we have the noodles right on there with the hamburger meat, we have to keep it moving. Um. There we go. Here, give me one second. I have to... Sorry about that. Some, uh, family things I had to fix. There we go, cool. So that should be the last little... Oh, not the not Cinnamon Toast Kit. There we go. 
So, and see how I was like uh, kind of AFK for a little moment? That should be okay. Um, we weren't gone that long, but another thing where the meat is good, the, the noodles are going to start sticking again, which I do feel. Now, they're not going to stick nearly as bad because since it has been starting to heat up a little bit and we moved it around at the beginning, they're not going to ease as easily stick. And the whole point about Hamburger Helper, um, as you're kind of like, you know, boiling it like this, what it does is you're doing that so we can cook the noodles. Because with Hamburger Helper, unlike spaghetti where we're doing the parts like separately, you know, we're cooking the meat, then we're doing the noodles, and then at the end we add the sauce and everything, and then when we, we make the plate, it's, you know, the noodles, the sauce, and the hamburger meat, and then the seasoning right on top. Like, no, we, this one, it's literally a big clusterfuck all at one time. And, uh, as you can tell, I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but what you'll basically start seeing is little tiny bubbles in it, which kind of shows that there's, like, air moving around in it as it's heating up. Um... Um, so what's after the cooking stream? Oh, probably playing uh, PvP on Bloodborne with you, Izzy, and then probably Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, more than likely. Um, I miss Hamburger Helper. You should just have... Oh, I think you said you're, you're not allowed to have it anymore. I made it some years ago, but haven't since needed to take my allergy stuff seriously. Don't text and cook, you maniac. You'll kill us all. Oh, uh, well, thankfully... Uh, like I said, make sure you're not too distracted, but that's why I'm so close to it. And thankfully, I am a professional. <laughs> Maybe, if you want to call me that. Um, yeah, sorry, it was very important, uh, like, emergency stuff with my, uh, one of my best friends, so I apologize. It was something about them and their, uh, their mother, so... There we go. Okay, well, putting that phone down. We need to not be on our phone while we're cooking. Once again, the biggest, th biggest thing you can fuck up with while cooking is being distracted. And ooh, I think we're about to get our first bubbles chat. Once and as you start to see amidst, amidst all the small bubbles, you'll start getting like some smooth parts where the big bubbles will start popping up. And I see it; it's wanting to bubble. But here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up a little bit higher, from six to six point five to kind of speed up the boiling process. This is why it takes me so long to cook, is I don't usually cook super quickly. I cook um, usually while doing something, I won't lie, so I'm a little distracted. But thankfully, we're all good. Um, but yeah, don't worry, this is not the end of the uh, celebration stream. It's not all tonight. Um, it's gonna be multiple days, and uh, I'll be taking multiple requests from uh, multiple people. So, you know, I'll be, you know, looking forward to that. And, um, I'll also, oh, also, anytime you're cooking hamburger, I, I turn on the uh, stove fan because uh, you don't want to have any, like, grease getting stuck to this. Now, granted, grease does get stuck to it, of course, but um, regardless, but that keeps most of the greasy smoke, like, out of the kitchen, especially because I have a small kitchen. You don't want to have it just abroad, and a lot of people don't really like the, uh, you know, the smell of, like, the stuff being cooked. Um, cook more than just grilled cheese and scrambled eggs. Um, as I'll say, probably one of the times I come on here and cook for you guys, I'll probably end up, uh, honestly cooking breakfast food, because I usually cook a sausage, some, ooh, oh, my battery's running low. Oh, shit. Hold up, I forgot to plug my fucking PC in, so I am walking away for a second, but it should be fine. I'll be right back. It's gonna be like ten seconds.
Hopefully the stream quality hasn't been shit, because I totally forgot to plug in my fucking laptop, so... Well, we should be good. Okay. Cool, so, now that we're back... So mixing it back up, making sure the noodles aren't stuck down. Especially after me having to walk away to get my fucking uh, laptop power cord. So I will say, as you heat it up, you can tell the cheese is kind of getting a little bit thicker. And some of the noodles are starting to uh, stick again. You might have to apply a little bit of extra pressure. So that's why I'm holding it so firmly. There we go. You kind of see me stopping a little bit to make sure it's not off. And make sure to check the middle as well. You don't want any of the noodles sticking to the middle or to the side. Because they can really stick to any of it, really. And we don't want none of that. So, there we go. And it's still kind of waiting on it to boil here. And we're going to turn the music back down because it is starting to get loud again. The motherfucker. Um, honestly, we might switch to uh, some different music here in a second. I'm actually kind of curious. I might try. Um, let's see here. Let's do Final Fantasy 13. I fucking love Final Fantasy 13. Um, not rain ambience. What the fuck, bro? Just chill out. Dude, can we just have Final Fantasy 13? Can we just have Final Final Fantasy 13? Can we just have Final Fantasy 13? Bro, what the fuck? The hell? I don't want this one though. I want Final Fantasy 13. God damn it. Motherfucker, let me have what I want. What the fuck? Weird. Very weird. Um, see yeah, these are all like individual songs. I want the actual full thing. That fucking sucks. Yeah, that sucks. All right, we're gonna just continue the uh, uh the Zelda music then. Why not? Who cares? I'll just pick a different one so we can go off of that. Um, let's try this one. There we go. Maybe this one will work. Regardless, we go ahead and pull up chat again. I'm actually getting really warm, believe it or not. This kitchen's getting actually kind of hot. Um. Oh, and it's starting to bubble! And we're going to go ahead, once it starts bubbling, we're going to mix it around again to make sure no noodles are stuck on the bottom. So like I said, that's the number one thing we want to look out for, is make sure it is not sticking to the pan or the pot or whatever the fuck makeshift thing you were cooking in. Here, I will show you all how it's bubbling. If you owned either, but I think some of your followers have them. You did play Smash Bros. last little celebration stream, Jazz Music Edgy. If you could have your own custom channel music, what would it be? Final Fantasy XV Chocobo music? I'll have to think about it. That sounds like it'd be fun. Um, honestly, it'd probably be kind of classical. Or, uh, I don't know. Not really sure yet. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it bubbling or not. Yeah, I don't think you can. But regardless, you guys know what boiling water looks like? It kind of looks like that. It's 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 bubbling up a little bit. But I turn it over and show you, but I don't feel like playing with a uh, boiling cheesy milk water, all right? That does not sound like a fun time. But cool, once you get it to boiling, you actually then want to go ahead and grab your top for it, make sure it's actually safely secured on there, make sure it doesn't spill. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the piece that goes with it. Now, double check to make sure it fits. I do believe, yes, it does. And so, with it boiling, now that it's really boiling, there's several bubbles in here. Check one last time that's all not stuck. There 
we go. Let's spin it around. Around town like SpongeBob intended. Then we're going to shoot that bitch way down to 2. Maybe 2.5. We're going to throw that bitch on. Now, the thing that I like to do, right, is I like to go ahead and get on my phone. And I like to go ahead and make a stopwatch. And the thing, the point of that is, is we're going to go ahead and leave it on there for about 12 minutes. And about every, um, uh, about every three or so minutes, we're going to go ahead and, uh, every three to four minutes, we're going to take off the top and we're going to stir it around. Make sure nothing st sticks to the pan and that the consistently, uh, the consistency stays good and it cooks thoroughly. You should save up stream money to buy your own, uh, channel theme and loading screen and save it for the next celebration. Yeah, the only problem is I have no fucking clue what type of music I should play be honest with you like I really have no fucking clue um um hold up I... Um, okay. There we go. Cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and I do believe that's been about three or so minutes. I also really gotta fucking use the bathroom, but we'll have to survive. But regardless, regardless. Um, while that's happening, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull this back over here. I'm gonna put that bitch right up on here. Ooh, ooh. Careful, camera, careful. Are you seeing him looking at my muscles, chat? Watching the maid flex? I know, I know. I'm scary, aren't I? <laughs> Alright. There we go. Cool. So now I can actually talk to you guys while uh, we're waiting on that. This one's kind of, this is kind of a lot more of the waiting process. Thankfully, Hamburger Helper is pretty, like, hands-off, but that's one of the other main things I like to cook is Hamburger Helper, even though it's not really difficult. It is very, um, I don't know, something I like, I like to get. Personally, do a little twirl. Um, it might fuck up my headset, but we'll, uh, you know, a little twirl. You can't really see my dress floof up, floof up, but you can. You can kind of see it, just a little bit. Um, yeah, I could, um, but usually I play so many video games that commissioning music just really wouldn't quite be worth the, uh, Worth the time, if that makes sense. It really wouldn't be super particularly worth it. Um, God, my hair actually looks okay, thankfully, on stream. I was kind of waiting for it to look terrible, but it actually looks alright. So we'll see. Um, oh, and we're at the three-minute mark. So take our good trusty spoon here, and just for a little bit, and take the top off. Put it somewhere we don't mind there being a little bit of hot water. I usually just do the rest of the stove because it's not on, and we're gonna. Move it around, move it around. And the whole point of it, like, you know, with it being boiling or whatever, and we bring it down to the simmer while during the 12 minutes, because I, I think I did say that. Yeah, when I put the top on, we did bring it down to about 2 to 2.5. Um, I had it on 2.5. I'm going to go ahead and move it down to 2. There we go. And what it's doing, that moisture is kind of cooking the noodles a little bit. Um, I'd like to... So you try to do uh, Golden Sun on the Switch emulators. Um, that would be fine. Um, I'll probably edgy pinch your dress and give us a curtsy. I mean, what? What are you talking about? Pinch my dress? What do you mean pinch my dress? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean like, like, like this? Like that? Is that what you're talking about? Are you like, you're talking about like, you know, they pinch their, dre pinch their dress and they go like this? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, okay. Also, I have no fucking idea what the hell you're talking about right now. Like, I, it's completely lost upon me at the moment. I'm like, curtsy the fuck. I bid thee adieu. <laughs> um, goddamn, people are texting me so much more. Um, you know what? I didn't take any pictures for stream, so we're gonna go ahead and. Doing a nice little cooking selfie. That's not a selfie.
There we go. You guys can see how awkward it is for me to take a selfie. There we go. I gotta have one for the post the other day for when I'm actually, uh, you know, posting about it. There we go. Cool. Ah, I'd love to see what you think of it. Um, but yeah, what I'll probably do is, just for the night tonight, I'll probably play the Bloodborne and then the PVZ GW2. Are you actually able to play Garden Warfare 2 with me, Izzy, or no? I actually can't remember. Are you able to, or no? Or do you just want to see me play it? <clears throat> Honestly, can't. Yeah, I can. Awesome, man. Awesome. Um, hopefully it doesn't have an update or anything. Hopefully I can just hop right on and play it. I love so. These are actually, you know what's weird about this chat? Is, I know you guys can't see it, but after wearing these garter belts for the third time now, I actually don't really mind it. It sounds really, you know, weird, but, like, I don't really mind wearing them. Like, it was really painful the first time, but I think by the third time now, having it grab my legs so high up, it's not really bothering me anymore. It used to bother me a lot, but now it's just kind of like, whatever, you know? Now it's just kind of like another thing that's happening. What the hell? There we go. For some reason, my little choker thing was getting stuck on my bow. There we go. Now I can actually move it. Um, let me actually take it off since this is a little too long for me to really wear that. And you can't really see it most of the time anyways. Oh, don't fall down. I don't want Luna grabbing it. Um, actually, let me look at the timer. I did not look at the timer. I turned my phone off, but the timer is still going. Oh, well, hell welcome in, Goofy. Welcome in. This is the first time you're in here, I see. This, uh, well, uh, it's pretty interesting that your first time ever being in the stream is a fucking cooking stream. I don't normally do these, but my, uh... My followers decided that this was the uh, celebration stream that we'd have, so hitting 300 followers, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in. What brought you in here? I'm at, was it the pretty dress or was it the pretty face? Oh, I know I'm so pretty. What you cooking? So we're actually at the very ending of the cooking session. We've been on for 48 minutes now, both the prep and the uh, actual cooking. Um, we are on the final process of cooking. Nothing fancy, but we are simply cooking Hamburger Helper. The last time I did a cooking stream, I did spaghetti. Um, we kind of dialed it back a little bit. This time with fanciness, and we're doing Hamburger Helper. Um, and the uh, next time I do a cooking stream, it'll probably be uh, something else I actually know how to cook, which would probably be eggs and uh, sausage and toast. Basically like a nice little breakfast meal. And I might add something else in there, too, just to make it a little more fancy. Maybe some, like, cinnamon raisin toast or whatever. You know, something something extra. Nothing crazy, but just delectable. You know, something that tastes good, isn't super expensive. You'd easily make it. Plus, even you wouldn't even really need to watch my stream to figure out how to cook this shit. It's on the box, so, you know. But it's wholesome. People asked. I got cute Zelda music playing in the background. Don't tell Nintendo. They'll raid my house. <laughs> um, but here, we're actually at the eight-minute mark, so we're going to go ahead and... Take this off, and it's kind of settled a little bit, but that's okay. Double check. It's starting to get a little bit thicker here. It's getting, we're, you know, we're, we're getting pretty thick, but we only got one C at the moment. We don't have three C's. We need about three C's, and then after we get the third C of thickness, we're going to let it chill, and we're going to get the fifth, the fourth C. And for you, for you spe uh, special viewers out there, you might want to wait for the fifth C, but that's up to you. That's up to you. Uh, I would show you what I'm doing, but I'm doing the same motion that I have been doing. I'm simply mixing it around. Nothing too crazy. Plus, like I said, unlike the spaghetti stream, I can't really show you as much what I'm doing because it's in a pot. Mommy rather... milkers. Um, I disagree, but that's uh, it's up to the viewer's discretion, I guess. If you think this uh, counts as mommy milkers, I guess you can you can believe that if you want to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't even have a minuses, bro. But that's that's all right. That's okay. Um, well, thank you for the compliment on my hair. It's actually very messy hair today, but uh, it's because I just washed it. I normally... You're doing thank it wrong. Thank you for the Do follow, it right. Go uh, here, I'll try to say your full name. Goofy Ah uh, Monkey. Nice. <laughs> well, thank you for the follow. That's very sweet of you. Thank you, thank you. We're now at not only 300, but 302. We're actually two followers more than actually what caused the celebration. Thank you, thank you. I'm um, still waiting on the Final Fantasy 15 Chocobo music. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, my hair is actually a little bit more relaxed looking. Um, it's just that today, um, I had to wash my hair yesterday, so today it's still a little poofy. Thankfully, I got to finally 
fix it. My er, my stream I had earlier before I put on the maid dress and all the other accessories while I was basically in like, you know, just relaxed clothing. My hair was a mess. I had some poofy metal hair. Now we've got the adorable um, emo hair that I like to have most of the time. It's just sadly, whenever I have it so recently washed, it does not stay like this at all, at all. Um, it basically wants to go back to being curly the entire time. And I won't even, be, I won't even joke with you guys. You can probably see my blonde hair from like the back now. Some people say it looks like a bald spot, but it doesn't really in person. It's in this lighting, it might, but in uh, most of the time, it doesn't really look like nothing. You can very much tell I have blonde hair. I need to get it re-dyed. I get it go dyed uh, pitch black all the time. Um, because I cannot stand fighting my fucking blonde hair or the curls, dude. The constant battle. I think you went from two to three followers on Xbox's Mixer to 300 on Twitch, right? Yeah, that was a while ago, man. That was back on uh, on uh, Mixer in 2019. That was a while ago now. It's honestly insane to uh, imagine that I'm so far into the future now, you know? Um, it's been a fun, it's honestly been some chaotic couple of years, man. Um, I went from living with my uncle, um, and playing on Mixer Monster Hunter World with no, uh, with no camera, to now living in an apartment with my two best friends and, uh, my roommate, my best friend's dog. And I, and then, you know, all between there, I lived with my toxic ex-girlfriend and tried to stream while sitting on the floor in my room. Living with a toxic ex-best friend in my own, in his room, then in my own room in the same house, and then finally ending up here. And I've been kind of chillaxing here for a while, you know. And I've, been, I, you know, we've streamed everything from Sekiro, Monster Hunter, Old Zelda. We do, now we're doing Final Fantasy VII, Monster, um, you know, Final Fantasy XVI, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, you have a roommate problems? Me too. Well, I don't have roommate problems anymore. I used to. Uh. Now I live with both my best friends, and it's actually quite the amazing time. Sorry if I look a little awkward. I'm fixing my uh, knee-high socks. I'll actually show you guys it here in a second. Let me mix the food one more time, and I'll show you. We're actually at the 12-minute mark, and we're actually going to probably... I think that'll be good. 12 minutes is, should be good enough. We're going to mix it one more time, so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Once again, I'm going around, then I'm starting kind of mixing up the middle, making sure stuff doesn't stick. And then, if we want it to solidify and be ready to eat, we're going to go ahead and let it relax. Turn that off. And take it off. There we go. With that, we're going to let it there. Chill and sit. Um, it's all like, you know. He's pulling his cock out! Uh, I won't be doing that. That won't be happening. <laughs> um, but here, let me see if I can show you guys my, uh, my outfit so you can actually see all of it. Let's see, let's see. See if I can... No, I can't put it there. Maybe I can put it here. Did I jump scare you? Yeah, I bet I did. You coward. You made there you me go. sick. Your yeah, this is my is whole pathetic. outfit. Um, it's not all the basic made outfit that I got. I'm not wearing the cat ears because I don't really want to. And the um, I'm wearing. I'll say I'm wearing some knee high socks. So they keep they fall down from time to time. Then you got the garter belts, which keep you know attacking my upper thigh so I feel a little assaulted but that's okay we're gonna we're gonna ignore that um but yeah so I actually I do have my white gloves over there um be careful of the oh shit <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you I totally forgot about that I appreciate that I do not want to upskirt the viewers um like we already almost had an accidental upskirt thankfully I'm wearing pitch black underwear so you can't you won't even be able to tell if you got an upskirt, thank god. Um, but yeah, and then also I have, so I have one of the cuffs that came with the, with the, with the outfit on, and then, but I have my spiked bracelet, my netted sleeve on, and my rings. Um, then instead of a, a, the long white glove, I've got one of my long black gloves. Um, cause, you know, I, I could just wear the outfit, and instead of having a bow, I just have it kind of draping down. Um, because I don't feel like making a bow. I could, but I don't really feel like it. So I just let it drape down because I think it looks nice. So it's perfectly fine this way. Plus, let's be honest, would it be edgy gamer if it was 100% perfectly proper? It's going to be a little messy. It's going to be a little chaotic. So it all works out, doesn't it? Also, did I fix that? I didn't fix it. Nice. Cool. But yeah, so this is this is the, uh, the outfit I bought. You guys know. Uh, I think last uh, Halloween. And I do remember I, I did I did dead ass go out into public with it, and that was a messy fun time, huh? 
Um, let me go ahead and stop this timer so my phone doesn't yell at me. Um, because we did leave it on there. Hold up. And... Sorry. There we go. But, um... Best made on Twitch, I dare say. Thank you, thank you. But what I will probably say, um, now that we are here, let me get you guys back over here so you can actually, you know, see me. There we go. So, what I will say, um, is that I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool off. I let it cool off until it looks nice and kind of thick to put on a plate. Um, honestly, I might actually put it on a plate real quick. Um, even though, just to at least show you guys, because, uh, you know, that's part of the experience after all. Um, I personally, you could use a paper plate, normal plate. You know what, just for aesthetic sake, I'll use my, I'll use my actual plates. I actually have, uh, pitch black plates, um, that my dad got me for when we moved into the, uh, house. So take a nice sturdy plate, because since it is cheese, you know, it's cheese, milk, water, hamburger meat, and noodles, it's gonna be a little on the heavy side. Um, I use the same type of spoon I do for scooping up, uh, spaghetti, so, you know, just a normal, normal scooping spoon, no holes, and, like I said, a nice sturdy plate, because you don't want it falling out. Um, so, we want to go ahead and just scoop it out. Now, I usually let it solidify some more, but if you want to solidify extra fast, you can go ahead and scoop it out. Now, it's not going to be nearly as appealing as I'm scooping it out, because, like I said, it's a lot more liquidy than it's gonna, than it normally would be. But it is still absolutely delectable and smells delicious. And I wasn't originally going to actually eat a full plate of it. I was just going to put it up because I ate earlier today. But I think it smells so good that I'm actually going to eat a good amount. So, uh, yeah. There is that. Now, it's nothing too particularly fancy. Like I said, it doesn't look... The, it's not the most pretty of dishes. But, as you can see right here... There it is. Um, let me actually try to give a better angle of it. There you go. So, like I said, not beautiful. But, you know. It is delicious. I'm glad you think it looks good. I, I usually don't think Hamburger Helper really looks that pretty. Sorry, taking my gum out. Um, but it is absolutely delicious. I take a bite, but I'm sure you can see the steam coming off that bitch. So, uh... Yeah, I don't feel like burning my fucking mouth right now, because it's already burning my hand. So, we're going to let that solidify right here. Um, I don't think you guys want a mukbang stream, so I'm probably not going to be eating on stream. Uh, I do get a little nervous. I don't know, I might take my first bite on stream and then turn the stream off. So, I'll at least give you guys that luxury. Um, dude, I would love to meet Gordon Ramsay. That'd be hilarious to have him watch me cook and then him complain the whole time. That'd be funny as fuck. I'd be like, I'm sorry, Gordon. I'm sorry. He just punches my fucking spaghetti for no reason. I'm like, but it was delicious, Gordon! And he's like, no! Oh, that whole cow died for hamburger for no reason! No reason at all! You idiot sandwich, you fucking donut! I love that. That makes me so happy. The cheese is fucking raw! <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I'll, uh, for fuck's sake, the cheese is fucking raw. I love it. I fucking love it. Where's the, where's the parsley? Let's see, is it, uh, is it cool enough to eat now? Let me see here. Because I want to be able to, anyways, if you guys really do want to see me cook more stuff, there's only so much I know how to cook, but if there is a high enough demand, I can do it every few months if you want. It doesn't have to just be a celebration thing. If the people want to see me do this on the rare occasion, let me know in my Discord, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, and I will try to make it happen. And for anybody who does like to see the cooking streams and misses part of it, you can see it. Uh, all my cooking streams will be going on my YouTube along with my playthroughs in their own section. So, But I'm going to take my first bite. Like I said, it's, not gonna, be, it's gonna be a little more liquidy than what it should be, but get a nice little spoonful. Hopefully this doesn't burn the shit out of me. You'll see on my reaction. <laughs> mm. 
That shit's so good. And, and here's the thing. I can actually taste the seasoning, too. So we were being really generous with the seasoning, so I don't just taste cheese. And that's the thing about Hamburger Helpers. You don't want to just make it be mac and cheese. You want it to be Hamburger Helper. So I can taste the cheese. I can taste the, uh, and then I have the noodles for the texture. But I can really taste the hamburger meat, especially because I cooked it pretty thoroughly. Um, it's lean meat, and I seasoned it well. Because if you season it well, it's going to have some very good flavor. And that's a big thing about cooking with hamburger meat, is you want, like, I don't know how, um, you get, but really with anything, you want to season it well. If you don't season it, you're not really going to get food. We don't live in the 1600s anymore. We're not eating peasant food. Make yourself some good food. Seasonings are not that expensive. Like, those big bottles, it's like two bucks for one. That's four bucks. That's like a shit ton of meals right there. So you guys saw how much I used, and that's a whole... That, this right here is going to be a, probably dinner for like three days. Three fucking days. That's pretty good, so I, I recommend it. Anyways, um, you guys have a lovely night. Um, for anybody who does want to see more streams, there will be more streams, I promise. Um, I'll be back on. The thing I'll be starting with is Bloodborne, because that is what Izzy had uh, requested. But once again, as I said before, anybody and everybody who um, who wants to recommend um, something for the celebration stream, for the 300 follower celebration, let me know. I don't care if you were the first follower or the fucking 302nd follower. If you have something you'd want to see, let me know. And if it is something that I can make happen, then I shall. I will say, uh, Izzy, it may be a few minutes before I get done, because I am going to eat my plate. I'll probably let the hamburger helper sit out for a little bit. Not too long, but a, a bit before I put it up. Um, and yes, so, I'll be back. I might, at max, 30 minutes, but my educated guess is about 15, 20. So, for now, this has been everybody's favorite edgy made. I l hope I look just as fabulous as I feel. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, and you guys have a lovely night. And as always, 3, 2, 1, to new and old viewers, and to the future of my clusterfucked, scuffed-ass streams. Later, losers. You all have a wonderful night. <laughs> He's pulling his cock out! The cock is staying inside the dress. Okay, I'm sorry. It's the wrong stream. This is not strip tease. All right, chill out. Chill out. You might get some shoulder. Some shoulder. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I am pasty as fuck. God damn. Hey, you guys think I am glow in the dark pale, by the way. <laughs> if you are curious, this is... I look even whiter in sunlight. This makes me look like I have more complexion than I do. Um, but yeah, you guys have... Good night. <laughs>